Greetings, everyone, and welcome to our Friday Q&A. We are doing all things yin and yang in business, and my name is Kathleen Zamansky, and I am here to help you get ready for the year of the water tiger. I'm very excited about this year that's coming up, but it's going to take a lot of planning on your part to really start clearing the decks so you can make the best of the upcoming energy. So today what we've decided to do, and this is our, the second week that we're going to be doing this, is we're going to be doing Q&A. So first of all, I'd like to um, bring in Alice and she can introduce herself and tell you a little bit about how she helps everything at Five Elements Group. So go ahead. Hi everyone, my name is Alice Wing and I've been working with Kathleen here at Five Elements Group for going on, I think about five years now. Um, and I do everything on the back end um, with Kathleen, as well as plan out um, our, you know, Time Blazer memberships, help with the astrology um, back end, um, anything, anything like that, I'm there. <laughs> I'm somewhere in the background. Um, so that's what I do here. And I uh, wanted to bring her into the foreground because she is so amazing and she's got just such wonderful energy and ideas. <laughs> and and it, it's it's actually fun for me too to have you um, with me on, on this platform, Alice. So let's start with our first question because it was a jam-packed week because yeah, oh, it was boy, really busy. Was it? It was a very, very, very busy week here at Five Elements uh, HQ. But um, we also have, you know, a lot of projects really kind of bubbling up and all of that. Mm -hmm. And and so, you know, just just for those of you who might be new or just listening to us, um, whether live or on the replay, this Friday, these Friday Q and A's are for you. So send in your questions. Number one and number two welcome we love to have you here because what we're talking about is a holistic system of person that's your astrology space that's your feng shui time which is the time blazer it's a personalized system as well as the universal gateway which is a manifestation tool so all right let's start with our first question what what, what do we got to talk about today okay so our first, and these are um, just a few of our frequently asked questions. The first one is, um, this is about astrology. So okay. what if I don't know my time of birth? Is it better to make a guess or leave it as unknown? So if you, well, first of all, um, there, there, when we look at a natal chart, a lot of times people will even go, you know, you know, I was born in the year of the dog, let's just say the year of the dog. So, you know, you are much more than that. And that's really looking at your chart superficially, number one. So we have what's called four pillars of destiny because it is about crafting your destiny, doing the things that you want to do by following your chart. So the year of birth is gonna be about your brand, your reputation, your ability to network and market. Now I'm gonna say that's 25% of what's happening in your chart. Then we've got your month of birth and that's about your career, what you're best suited at, your character. Okay, that's another 25%. So we've got 50% of decision making and strategies already happening there. Then we've got the day of birth and the day of birth is about your personal growth, your mindset, which is one of the business strategies I can absolutely tell you to be working on, and that's so important right now, is that mindset. Because you can have the best laid out plans, and if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will either. And so we got to work on that one. And it's also about your partnerships. And so that's another 25%. So there's 75% of information right there. And you don't know your year, your hour of birth. All right. So right away, if you don't know it, you can't really fabricate what it is. Now, there are certainly ways in which you can sort of guesstimate. And that is really working with your astrologer to have them start asking you some key questions because on that day of birth, there are 12 different opportunities of when you were born. And that means because the Chinese calendar has two hour increments within a 24 hour. We, in the Western um, timing, we just use one hour at a time. So each of those hours represents a certain packet of, of energy. So what you could do is when you're speaking with the person that you, if you really want to know about your, your hour of birth, 
then you may have to do like, is this more like you based on the rest of your chart? Because we have to bring in the whole to, to understand that. But really what I'm trying to say is if you if you are sort of like, well, it could have been like, you know, 6.30 at night or, you know, my parents said it was around 8. I'm not sure. Well, those are two different time slots that you would be looking at. And you can go, well, are you more like this or are you more like that? And But it is a guesstimate. Um, but if you're just guessing and you don't really know, then I think that's not very helpful for you. But what the hour of birth represents, it is quite important because it is about your life purpose. It is about your goals. It's how, you know, the goals that you're trying to achieve, your legacy. It means so many things. Now, again, we focus on business and it means so many, many, many things, even beyond what I'm telling you right now. But, you know, for this short Q&A, so you don't get to tap into that information. And it's also about your investments, all of the money that you've accumulated over your life or the potential accumulation and what is the best way to distribute those investments. And, and so they keep on working for you. So even though you may not know the hour of birth, and that doesn't mean you can't work on your investments and your life goals. You just don't have that same guiding post as the year, month, and day would provide for you. So hope that hopefully that answers the question. Yeah, knowing 75% of something is so much better than not knowing at all. I'm knowing so, zero, right? So right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Let's our next, next question. Next. Our next question is still on astrology. It's if I have two clash animals in my chart. Does that mean I will live a difficult life? What can I do to improve it? Okay, that's a great question, actually. So we have in our charts, uh, our natal charts, we have, um, with with the timing of you know any particular year, like you're listening to us live, we're in the year of the metal ox, but next year, 2022, is the water tiger. So those two animals alone, may or may not affect the dynamics of what's going to happen. Well, they're not, not may, they will affect the dynamics of what's happening in your life. So knowing that information is going to be good. Now, sometimes the energy is going to combine with you, which typically makes your life easier. When there's a clash, you, you are going to lose something. Something is going to clash out of your life, right? We know that with certainty. So there are certain animals like a tiger and a monkey or a dragon and a dog, a rooster and a rabbit, a pig and a snake, a um, ox and a goat. Who did I miss? The rat and the horse. I think I got them all. Um, so basically those are what clashes are. So when you know, like for example, if we are, uh, let's just use some practical information for, for people that, that are listening. It is the year of the the ox. So if you have a goat in your chart, this means it's going to be a clash year for you. If you have a tiger, excuse me, a monkey in your chart in 2022, the tiger is going to influence the monkey in your chart. Now, what is it going to clash? I just described, so there's a perfect positioning of those two questions, Alice, is that, you know, is it in your year of birth? your month of birth, your day of birth, or your hour of birth. That will tell you where there is a opportunity for some change to happen in your life. Now, how I look at it is, yes, there is a clash, like I'll have a clash coming up in, in 2022. So what that is, is it gives me an opportunity now to pre-plan. I know there's going to be a clash and it's in a certain area of my life. So what am I going to do? What is my strategy? Well, my strategy will be to start now to make some changes in those parts of my life so I don't lose the things that I want to lose. It will give you a better opportunity. So for example, if it's a, it's a yearly clash, whether it's this year or next year, a yearly clash, you may be entering into new networks. It's your opportunity to say, Mm, you know what, that network, that networking group or those people that I've been, you know, hanging around with, because it's sometimes more about who you know than what you know, but maybe those people aren't accelerating my growth as much as I would like in my personal or professional life. Well, then I can make changes now 
to go, oh, I'm going to start visiting some different networking groups or I'm going to start rebranding myself. Maybe that's the, the thing that should do. If it's your month, what skill sets can you improve in your life so that you have better career opportunities? Maybe you will end up leaving that current position you are in, but now you're better positioned for a higher pay or um, better opportunities, better clients, those kinds of things. If it's in your day of birth, then it's going to be, well, it could be you are going to move and it might be a good idea to move. And it could also mean that uh, you're going to change your mindset. You're going to take steps this year or right now, if you're in the class right now, to work on your mindset. And maybe it's a partnership change. Maybe you're going to be going from single to a committed relationship or going from a committed relationship to being single again or somewhere in between. And if it's your hour of birth, work on your goals, work on that legacy, work on how you're going to best invest your money so that it can it can absolutely help you be a better person. So there's a lot of different, uh, you know, things like clashes, harms, disruptions. We'll we'll answer those as we go along. But that's how I personally would handle a clash: embrace it, make the changes necessary, and then be ready to let something go because the universe is going to ask for that as an equitable change. Mm hmm. Great answer. And also, um, if you were born an 80s baby and uh, watched cartoons, there's a famous saying in G.I. Joe at the end where it's um, knowing is half the battle. So when you know things ahead of time, um, you're better equipped to plan for it, whether it's good or bad. You know, um, in, in, in riffing off of that, Alice, you're so right, because that's what really this that's what we offer people. We offer them the knowledge that will give them a game plan. Is everything gonna plan out exactly, exactly, you know, how I would tell you or whatever. It, you know, it's my interpretation of your chart. Any, any mm -hmm. astrologer worth their weight in gold will say it from my perspective, this is how I am reading your chart, but it's all about you. It all should have a common thread. But if you embrace knowing how to use these energies in advance, that is less winging it and you won't get so whacked by the universe. It's like, what the heck just happened? You know mm -hmm. what's going to happen and that's how you can plan it. So that's a, that's a great way to, you know, <laughs> say, you know, really. And it's like, those, that's another thing though. You know, you brought in that movie. Those are optics. Those are like mm -hmm. opening up your vision to looking at things and that's a message so that's that's a that's a very good way of of describing it as well okay all right Mo moving on to our next one this is um i travel a lot for work when uh -huh. using the time blazer do i have to convert the time when i'm in a different time zone okay well first of all let's tell people what the time blazer is you want to take a shot at it or should i uh, you can take the shot. Okay. All right. I just want to give <laughs> you, you are some, the I just want to give you some air. Kathleen is the creator of the time blazer. I, I, I am the creator of the time blazer. And the time blazer in and itself is a little bit of a story that, you know, I was sitting at a meditation retreat. Cause I think that, I think the back end of this is a little bit important too. I was sitting at a meditation retreat and I was going through a bit of a, a well, I was going through a clash year and this mm. is, this is before I knew um, really how to handle it, but I was going through a clash year when the time blazer incubated into my, my field of consciousness. And I'm sitting there like universe, like what, you know, like what, like, really like can can anything you know be more disastrous than what's going on right now and i get this kind of megaphone announcement that just kind of downloads in my head use the calendar and what what the universe is referring to is the the chinese calendar that is used for feng shui and and but it wasn't personalized. It was it was you know it was a it was a calendar. But I I personally and manually had to calculate all of these different nuances to make it personal to me. So I decided while it was sitting there, I was like, oh, you know what? I have a great idea where I could like map out my whole year by finding out where all my success days were and finding out which days were challenging because it's not just about a good day it's avoiding those those real you know nasty days and everyone has experienced it 
you've had days that were like, man, it was just like, I was flying mm -hmm. through the day and it was just, For sure. everything was easy. <laughs> and then there's those days, whew, like nothing goes right. <laughs> so wouldn't it be great to know those days in advance? Mm -hmm. That's what the time blazer is all about. So what we ended up, what, what I ended up doing, cause I didn't know Alice quite yet is I, I, I almost like was bolting out of a meditation retreat, which isn't very Zen, but it was like, I wanted to go to an office supply store and get a, a, a year, year at a glance, kind of one of those laminated plant planners. And I bought my markers and all that. When I was there, I was like, I think I've got a couple of clients that might actually like me to do this for them. And then it went, well, I think I can serve more people than, than that because this technology needs to be in the hands of a lot of people. And what we have today was what I envisioned coming up on its 12th anniversary. So it's one, one, one rotation of the Zodiac is how long it's been in existence in 2022. But I'm telling you what I saw, what got downloaded to me was like, is what we see today. And I'm very, very proud of it. It's digitalized, it's personalized to everyone. Okay, but now, now we're getting into a practical question that is, I am now traveling. And let's say, and this is how I, I have described this, this answer quite a bit. So I am physically in California right now. And we used to, um, pre a couple years ago, we would see the ball drop from Times Square in New York City. It's a big deal. And I know it gets broadcast all around the world like it does in, you know, the other places around the world as we tick into the new, new year. So let's say I want to I wanna go to Times Square and watch the ball drop. Um, but I don't really want to be there at midnight because I don't want to change my time or whatever. And I'm going to go you know, a few, few hours, a little bit later, cause I'm going to stay on California time. Believe me, Times Square will be deserted. There won't be anybody there. Why? Because my energy is not, is not there. So I can't really like recalculate. Like if I want to make an important call, your body is now where the time blazer exists. So your time blazer travels with you cause it's your personal information. Cause it's, truthfully programmed to you and the time zone that your body physically is in. Now we can take that going. Um, but you know, I have maybe a mailer and my, my, um, my assistant lives, you know, maybe even in a foreign country, I would still have them use my time zone as when I would be, you know, sending out blasts and things like that. Because again, the time is personalized to me. And we do have a couple of clients like that, like Alice and I are in the same time zone. We don't mm -hmm. live in the same city, but we live in the same time zone. So it's not, that's kind of a mute point for us, but we have quite a few clients that have, you know, their, their VAs or assistants, you know, in other time zones, but you, again, use whoever is the, the subscriber to the time blazer, you use, you use that time. Okay. And then we have one more question. Okay. Um, we're in a particular transition of energy right now, as you've been saying for the past um, few weeks here, yeah. what is the best way to tap into that energy? Okay. This is really so exciting to me. Um, we are in the month of the, the dog and this particular year, um, in, in 2022, we are going into this really amazing um, energetics, as I said, we're going to be really like leaping into action in 2022. And unlike what this big, big block that we've been in for a while um, of, I'm going to say stagnation of it, it, life has just been a little bit murky and messy these last two years, let's face it. So we are in a very particular energetic that is giving us an opportunity to really kind of clean up some of our old patterns. And it is quite um, interesting. And I am no different from anywhere, anyone else. I have things to clean up as well. So is it relationships, financial health, um, uh, you know, your emotional state, your physical state, your mindset, those kinds of things, uh, you know, I'm, I'm far from perfect. And, but I do want to be and show up to be the best 
self that I can be for myself. And then I can be my best self for everyone else that I come into contact with, or even virtually, I want to be that best self. So I'm doing a lot of inner work myself. And therefore here is something I cannot emphasize enough. This particular time frame that we're in right now, October and November of 2021, especially is a time to release and let go. And I'm going to even say, let's like look back at the last 12 years of your life. There's a great opportunity to make some pretty interesting changes in your life. Then when you do that in 2022, there is a, it's an interesting dynamics of energy that is going to be surfacing. And if you've done the cleanup work, you're going to have a better possibility of emerging and really taking your business and personal life to the next level. But you have to do the cleanup first. Why? There, if there's no room because you've got all this clutter, mind clutter, um, and I'm, I'm talking more on the mind, in the mind body, like things that have happened to you in the past that you're not, you're not happy with. Of course, I always address like space as well, but I really want this to be more of what are, you know, like identifying what patterns you find yourself getting into over and over again. And if lessons aren't learned, you may have noticed the next time that pattern shows up and that you walk into willingly going, yeah, sure. I want to do that. And things come crashing down. They always just accelerate and get mm -hmm, mm -hmm. more and more compounded. Right. 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 So this is where, and, and truthfully, we are going to do a little pop-up um, uh, course. It's going to be very, very um, affordable. It's more than what we can do here on, on YouTube. We are giving quite a bit of free information away, but next week we're going to have um, the opportunity because it's going to come quick. We've got to do the work that we need to do. There's a couple of dates that I'd love to give you to really tap into this energy, but um, it will suffice to say I would love for you to start doing a couple of things. One, grab yourself a journal, grab yourself um, a, a calendar. What we can, you know, kind of, uh, but I really want you to start thinking about what is it this year that you want to release and let go? What it was from 2020 that you want to release and let go and go back for 12 years and just start writing, just do a brain dump. What are the things that you can identify that, if, if they were handled a little bit differently, how your life would be. And then next year, once we've done, we've done this cleanup, the next year, it's all about manifestation. So, um, I think we'll, we'll leave it, we'll leave it there until we have a little few more details, but mm -hmm. everyone can start today, just get into a nice meditative state of mind and then start journaling and start releasing and let go. The first step is awareness though. You've got to know what to release before you can let anything go. Right. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's going to be a little bit of that inner work. That's just tremendously um, important and it will help you grow and it will help you be um, and live the life that you want. Yeah, and Kathleen actually did a universal gateway meditation yesterday. Um, so if you click back to, t to yesterday's video, um, you can follow along with that uh, meditation to release and let go. Um, and she does talk about going back the 12 years in there um, a little bit. So that can be an intro to that as well. Perfect. Perfect. So um, next week, we've got another exciting week coming up next week. We're going to um, do the astrology again. Um, so we'll talk a little bit about astrology. And this, again, it's all to help prepare for 2022 water tiger. And then on Tuesday, we'll talk about the space of the feng shui. So what are some of the things that you might be able to tap into spatially so that you can help boost your goals? Then on Wednesday, we'll do another Time Blazer um, uh, segment so I can help you with a couple of good days that you can be looking at. And if you missed that, um, I think I already, I think I talked all up to maybe Tuesday of next week. So mm -hmm. you can go back and look at that um, very quickly as well. And then we'll do our weekly meditation with Universal Gateway making um, 
using your body as the antenna to tap into that universal intelligence that is yours and yours alone. And you'll get great wisdom from that. And then we'll be back on Friday for a Q and A. So get your questions ready and get your toolkit up to date. And we'll, I guess we can sign off for now. Is there anything else you want to leave us with Alice? No, that was it. You can um, ask your questions anytime on any of the videos, just comment below um, and make sure to like the video, subscribe so you don't miss out and tap on that bell for all of our upcoming videos that are coming up. So you don't miss out. Sounds good. All right. I think that's it for today. We'll see you guys on Monday and Alice will be back with us on Friday. All right. Bye, everybody. See ya. Have an amazing weekend. Ciao.